it reminds me of the Spider-Man villain. This is my second Grounded video where I'm referencing Spider-Man. Maybe my third. I don't know. But it is. it reminds me of the Spider-Man villain, Venom. So, some of you may remember, last time I tried to film a underground lights tutorial, this happened. And so currently, this is how you build the lights underground. This is the only way to build lights underground. It's the slime mold lantern that you can put up with the green lights. You can fill the anthill with them, and you'll be able to have slime mold lanterns. You'll be able to illuminate, depending on how many you put in there, the... Do you hear that? I think I heard... Oh my god! Oh my god! What's it doing in here? Yeah, wasn't wasn't very fun. Wasn't very fun. But this time, nothing like that is going to happen because this time, I'm going to his house. Whoa! I'm not just small. I'm tiny. This is freaking awesome. What up? It's Tiny Pirate Gaming, and in this video, I'll be covering how you can build lights underground in Grounded. Currently, in Grounded 6.2, with the last update. Uh, in the future, this might not work because they've already changed this ability once and taken away the ability to build lights underground. So this might change in the future, but currently I'm going to teach you all in this video a secret technique to illuminate your underground caves that I actually learned from two other Grounded YouTubers. I'm just putting it all together here in one video for you all. So, and I will give credit to the other Grounded YouTubers. In the description, you can check out their channels. That's where I learned it from, and I will give them a shout out at the end of the video. But for now, let's get into how you do this. So in order to do this, you're gonna need to be able to build the slime mold sconce. And in order to build a slime mold sconce, you will need a slime mold stalk and two crude rope. And that's it, that's all you need to build one of these things. So if you're gonna illuminate an entire cave, you're gonna be able to build a lot of these. So you're gonna need a lot of slime mold sconces or a lot of slime mold stalks and a lot of crude rope to build a lot of slime mold sconces. So this secret technique was first pioneered or popularized by Rudar and he's where I learned it from and that is to build the slime mold sconces within the caves around grounded. You can illuminate the anthill, you can illuminate the larva cave and you can even illuminate the wolf spider dens. And that's what I'm gonna be illuminating in this video today, just showing you all that in the background. As you're seeing, I can build in this cave and I'm gonna be going over some really cool stuff that I've learned while doing this, while illuminating this cave in particular. So the next phase of this technique is that once you have built slime mold sconces in your desired cave to illuminate it as much as you prefer, you know, that that's, it, you, you don't have to illuminate the whole thing. You can illuminate it as much as you want, but keep in mind, if there's things that spawn down there like web sacks or quartzite, if you build the slime mold sconces too close to where these things spawn, they will not spawn back. The game does not spawn back things. Usually, once you build something close to it, it just doesn't spawn it back because it's assuming you're building something there. So just keep that in mind. If you want to collect spider web sacks and quartzite from that cave, watch where you build your lights because they might interfere with the respawn rate of whatever that item is you like to harvest there. But anyway, to enhance the slime mold sconce lighting effect, you can also attach a sap sconce, which creates a yellow, brighter light than the slime mold one, which produces a green dim light. The sap sconce can be attached to the slime mold sconce once you've built it underground. And this secret technique, which is really a modification of Rudar's technique, was pioneered or invented by Kinetical Chaos. He's another grounded YouTuber. Link to his channel is down below in the description. And I just learned it by watching one of his videos and I was like, did you did you figure out a secret here to build the brighter lights again underground? And that that's what I, I was most shocked by. Um, I was just amazed. And and so um, I already tried to, to show people this secret technique in a video. As I mentioned in the, in, in the intro to this video, 
uh, I last time I tried to film this this a wolf spider came into the ant hill while I was illuminating it and it attacked me over and over and over and over again and you can watch that video on my channel I made a video out of it because it drove me crazy and so this time I decided I was gonna build my I was gonna illuminate the spider's den because if I go there and illuminate the spider's den well I gotta bash the spider first which means he ain't gonna sneak up on me because ain't nobody got time for that so get out of here spider get out of here that's what I decided to do I went up here I bashed the stink bugs got him out of the way and then I said let's just let's, let's go Mr. Wolf Spider it's bashing time it's bashing time and then he kicked my ass but then I came back I respawned because if you watched my blocking video, you know that I like to build lean throughs all over the place so I can respawn close when I'm gonna engage a larger insect in battle. I like to be able to respawn real close in case something like what just happened happened. And I go down. So I went down, but I came back and I got it the second time because you know I, I did those perfect blocks. I mastered those perfect blocks. Spent a lot of time doing that. And I didn't do that the first time because this freaking infected weevil gave the wolf spider an assist. And I was none too happy about that. I was none too happy about that. But anyway, I ended up getting in there, bashed the wolf spider, and was able to illuminate the spider den. As you all have been watching in the video, that's how I did it. I illuminated the spider den, I put these lights in there, and when I do it, I don't like to put the sap sconces as much as I put the slime mold sconces, because the slime mold sconces create enough of a light effect. Plus, I like to keep it a little bit creepy. You know, I just put the brighter lights in, in select locations to illuminate it just a little bit more, but I like to keep it kind of creepy. But in the process of doing this, one thing I noticed is the lighting effect on the web sacks in this cave with the slime mold sconces looks really cool. Like, it creates this black and white effect on it that looks like this black orb is now covered in this white web, and it just creates this really cool effect that I thought. Um, and I was streaming the other night on Twitch. I stream on Twitch. If you ever want to come hang out, I'm, I'm on twitch.tv slash tinypirategaming. You can check me out there. And I, I stream randomly. I don't have a set schedule yet. I'm working on that. Don't worry. It will come in the future. But currently, it's haphazardly when I get the time to do it. And I announce when I'm going to live stream on my Twitter. So it's a good idea to follow me there, too, if you want to watch me live stream. Because that's where I announce, hey, I'm going to live stream in the next 10 minutes. If you want to come hang out, meet me at Twitch. But... But I was live streaming, and, and one of my viewers noticed that, too. They were like, whoa, that looks really cool. And I was like, it does look really cool. I'm glad somebody else noticed that because I noticed it early. And you want to know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Spider-Man villain. This is my second Grounded video where I'm referencing Spider-Man. Maybe my third. I don't know. But it is. it reminds me of the Spider-Man villain Venom, like this color scheme that's created by this effect. It reminds me of Venom. But anyway, I spent so much time on this little effect here. I just think it's really cool once you illuminate the spider den, how the web sacks look in the light of the of the slime mold sconce. Looks really cool. It reminds me of Venom. The other thing I want to talk about is once you've illuminated this cave, you can really get a good look at what is believed to be a dead pet skeleton down here in the bottom of the spider den under Rake Rock. And I don't know what what is up with this skeleton down here what do you think let me know in the comments is it is it a dead pet is it a cat is it a dog is it a person i don't know it's portions of of a buried something that was buried in this backyard that we can now uncover there's also something very weird about this and that is there seems to be an invisible barrier uh under the rib cage like it seems like you should be able to just walk right in there under the rib cage like you can do all sorts of stuff like that in other places around the backyard. There's never these invisible barriers, but you do run into these invisible barriers in a few key locations. Now, what this indicates to me this is my own personal opinion. I believe that these invisible barriers are placed there because the dev team is planning to expand what happens in that area. I personally believe that we're at some point this tunnel is going to go deeper. Um, I could be wrong, but I believe that is why they don't let you go under the ribcage because at some point we will be able to go under there and it'll be like another lab or just a deeper cave. Maybe there'll be another wolf spider down there. Maybe maybe there'll be a boss character, like they'll bring back the brood, brood mother and it'll be down there at the bottom of the cave and we'll have to go on a burgle quest to go defeat the, the wicked brood mother and, you know, obtain some, you know, necessary component for whatever whatever's going to happen in the story nobody knows the story's very light right now but what do you think what do you think's going on with the skeleton do you agree with me that maybe this is when you run into these invisible barriers that maybe this is indicating that they're going they're planning to expand 
what happens in that area or they're planning to make a longer tunnel or they're planning to do something there and that's why they're not letting the player go there because I don't know maybe there's an invisible resource there maybe there already is something there and we just can't see it yet because it hasn't been textured or rendered into the game but the code says that it's there so it creates a bit I don't know I don't know let me know what you think in the comments you can also let me know if you enjoyed the content if you liked the video by smashing that like button it really helps me out I really appreciate it you have no idea how much that means to me also if you want to see future grounded related and grounded themed content well Consider subscribing to this channel because that's what I put out. That's what I produce here. And if you subscribe and you hit that little bell, you can join the tiny crew and then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video about Grounded or about something else here on Tiny Pirate Gaming. But anyway, thank you again so much for watching. And until next time, Arg matey, watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.